Take a shot. Nice to see you guys again. What are we gonna do today? First off, as you guys know, I set up this 125 for my bigger cichlids. I didn't actually plan ahead in terms of the aquascape. Basically, I just tossed some random plants into the tank along with some old plants I have that have nowhere to put them. And right now, this tank looks actually very disorganized. It's, uh, I'm not a big fan of it because the plants are just random everywhere and they're not uniform. I think I can absolutely improve the arrangement of these plants, which is something I'm gonna do today. I want to um, rearrange all these plants and put them like more like a Dutch style aquascape. Same plants stay in the same spot. But first of all, let me show you what it looks like now. So this is what it looks like now. These are basically java ferns or the anubias. Somebody dug up a big hole right next to that rock. I believe it was whitey. And as you can see, the various different plants. I've got a lodia. I don't even know what this plant is. And I've got some pennywort in the back. I've got some tiger lotus. Pretty much covered by sand because this cichlid just chew sand and spit them out and got some moss they're actually doing fine but i can i think they can do better if i put them closer to light same plants here and i've got some water uh wisteria I just random chuck them between these ferns you can see there's a valve scenario in the back move big boy here come here food food yes see it's right in the back it's just only have one left I mean I only have one in this tank and there is another big uh, sword basically I have three swords filter is on this side and it's blowing water to the other direction right and that's why all the floating plants are cornered here so I'm thinking I can put some low light plant on this side of the tank which will be the sword of course this Anubias and Java firm Next to them in the center section will be those stem plants, moss. And this section, I either leave it like blank. I can put some rocks to build some shape. That's my basic plan for this. The most challenging part for me, I feel like is these three giant swords. I don't know the best way to arrange them. I put the two smaller ones in the back and then the big one in the front, like a triangle shape. Let's get started. Wow, look at the root. It's crazy. And then I'm gonna put all the uh, the Java fern, Anubias, in the bottom, surrounding it. I'm going to take this driftwood out, and I probably also need to find uh, some big flat rocks so that I can glue these to the rocks and then put around the, the java fern. No, sorry, Amazon swords. Yeah, I can find some in the backyard. Wish me luck because it's very dark outside. The dark side. But I've got this. Oh. Lightsaber. A massive flashlight. See you. Holy cow, they're all frozen. Look at them, they're completely frozen outside. Took me a while to get them up. Damn, this smell good. 
Ugh. Chocolate. Okay, I have so much java phone. Damn. Shaft all these uh, Anubias into the crack of this rift wood, made it like a teeny tree. Beautiful. Awkward. It is awkward. Escape is pretty much done. I just need to sprinkle some gravel on the plants around the root of the plants so that uh, these guys don't dig them up. much organize the plants by their own species. This uh, water is pretty cloudy because I did a lot of change. Right. Put the java fern tree in this corner. Once the water clears up, it's gonna look way better.